good light. guys, so today is the first day of my Magical Readathon vlog and I am excited. It is the 9th today, it is Friday and I really don't plan on getting any reading done today because I want to start reading tomorrow because I am currently reading a book that I will not finish tonight but I wanted to read some more of it and I do have solid plans to do a really big amount of reading tomorrow and it will be explained why when I start doing stuff tomorrow because it's like a surprise but not really it's nothing major i'm just going to sydney on the train to have some fun times and i'm gonna bring you along with me i'm going to bring a good girl's guide to murder with me and i'm hoping to read like a really good chunk of it but we'll just see but i'm really thinking that i'll definitely be able to get one book read for this readathon but am i gonna get others read i don't know but i'm definitely gonna give it my best go but really this is all the intel you have for today because it's just been a uh, non- reading day for the first day, which is really not great for a readathon, but I've still got eight more days to go. I'm so not a morning person, people. Even though it's six in the morning and legit, I would already be at work by now, <laughs> like waiting to start, but I have to get ready for a seven o'clock train to Sydney. I will look fresh in like about a minute. I'm ready. And I even have my new shirt on that I bought. This says Mandalorian, even though it's like a bit cropped. But I think it looks okay. And I've got my ripped jeans. These are my Eddie jeans, even though I do wear them out other times. But I have no shoes on yet. But, like, I feel like this is cash enough. I've got all my shit that needs to fit in that bag, hopefully. But I am very keen, even though it's three and a half hours on the train. But it's always worth it. Okay, so I'm just waiting at the train now. It's always really cold in the morning, but I know it's going to get warmer later. But I'm on the first train from Maitland to Hamilton Station and then Hamilton Station to Sydney. So I should be getting there at around 10.30 and it's like nearly 7 now. So it is quite a long time, but I am so excited. I've come out of Luna Park and this is the first time that there is no music but now I'm rushing to get onto a train that we will hopefully be able to get to so I can get home but it was very good even though I felt sick at the end and I'm just like why am I dying I'm normally good at rides but it just means I can get some more reading done when I get back on the train oh my god I look like shit but in a shocking turn of events I've been feeling really nauseous and it was such a pain to get home I don't even know if I'm going to put this in the vlog but it's keeping updated on how I feel, which is shit. <laughs> I'm gonna look back on this footage of me in like a week or two when I have to look back on me crying and I'll be like cringe, but I am feeling a lot better, but my voice is sounding weird. So like, was it the rides or am I sick? <laughs> 
I don't know. I didn't really get a chance to tell you about my day. Like obviously I filmed a little montage of all the Lunar Park thingies that we got to see and do. And it was really fun. And the people that I went with I hadn't met before. There are a couple of my Instagram friends and then As brought her sister. So it was really nice to finally meet them because they live in Wollongong and I live in Newcastle. And we were like, well, we can meet in Sydney halfway. And then we're like, why don't we go to Lunar Park? So it's really nice that I've been able to meet like a lot of my Instagram friends now that we are on the other side of COVID. But also now that I don't live in Jindabyne, I'm able to go see people a lot easier and it just makes me so happy that some of the people that have become like really good friends of mine I'm actually able to meet them in person and it makes me so happy but they're at mad as books on Instagram if you want to follow them because I love their page and they always post really fun things. So for reading yesterday I got up to page 140 and I read 120 of it on the way and I only read 20 pages on the way back because I felt so sick with the movement of the train that I literally tried to sleep the whole time because I didn't bring earphones so I wasn't going to listen to anything and I tried reading but I couldn't do it. So this would have been 200 pages easy if I didn't feel like shit but I'm still really happy with that progress for a day of reading and I'm like making some progress like this book's like in the 400s for page count not actually sure how much because I don't want to like accidentally spoil myself because this murder mystery is actually quite good I like the way that they have the files and like her documentation of what she's doing and like the interview format but then also talking through like the story in like a normal way that books are what am I thinking it's just like normal you know normal normal text and stuff like it's not all interviews is what I'm trying to say I don't have any idea who I think it is yet but I have ideas on who I think it's not but hopefully maybe by halfway I might have more of an inkling of what's happening because they're only just starting to find out like newer things that are like oh it could be this person but then I'm like because it's always too easy when it's one of the first people but then again one of the first people gets disregarded and then it could be them so I don't know but I am really enjoying it and I think I'll be able to keep flying through this hopefully for the rest of the week and then start my next read but yeah that's how my life's been. I've been so slack with filming today like I pretty much forgot that I was doing a vlog but I have made a bit of progress on my book. I'm up to page like 190 around about 194 so I don't think I'm halfway yet but I feel like I'm making pretty decent amount of effort and at this moment I still have no idea who I think it is but part of me feels like multiple people are involved like there's definitely been times when people have kept secrets that she finds out and she's like well if you mention this to the police I might not have thought Sal did it but she hasn't gotten anywhere yet and as I said I have no idea yet but I don't know if it's going to be a child. I really do feel like it's probably an adult that was the murderer though because there seems to have been like a lot of thought gone into this and a lot of stuff's been covered up and set places. So it feels like with a child it feels like it would just be something that's like really anger driven. So that's my only thought process right now. But it is halfway through the book so am I meant to have a theory of who I think it is yet? Or well, the book is purposely making it really hard to guess what's about to happen. So I really don't know. Hopefully I will start to have an idea soon. But if it does completely blow me away that's going to be exciting as well. But this book is extremely easy to read and it makes me want to finish the trilogy already. Oh, I've literally just been like neglecting this vlog so much. Like it's day four. It is the 12th. This readathon did start on the 9th, I'm pretty sure, because I think it's going for 10 days, but I thought it was only 9 because it's meant to be like the Monday to Friday and then the two weekends on the other side, but then it started on Friday, unless I am mega confused or just vlogging for an extra day, you know, just to add to the readathon, but I have barely done any reading today. I got it to page like 215. There is a little bit more information revealed and some things that are like starting to like make a lot more sense but I still have no idea at this point where it's going. Like maybe there's like an inkling but I need more information but like I am getting to the point where this book is getting further and further along and I also wonder because I feel like this mystery is going to get solved in this first book and then it's like what's the rest of the trilogy about is it different cases are people going to be coming after her once she figures it out because she's getting like threatening letters and it's a bit stressful and the way that people are just so prejudiced against the person that they think did it and they just all assume it's this guy and it's not clearly and there's just I'm loving that she's so invested in this murder but also people are so annoying in this book because they just don't believe it it. but I am going to try and do a bit more reading now even though I'm really really tired because I had to get up really early for work today and after Luna Park and feeling dreadful I just did like I slept for 10 hours that night when I was crying to the next morning I slept for more than 10 hours then the next night I did not sleep for very long so I'm so glad I get to sleep in tomorrow oh my god another day has gone and I just did not vlog at all 
it is Tuesday, but technically it is now Wednesday because it's nearly two in the morning. <laughs> but I have been doing a bit of reading. Like, look, I'm getting pretty far. Like, I've been pretty proud of this progress. And of course, it's only because I read most of it on the train, but it's still progress. Like, I'm up to page 293. I feel like I'm doing, like, a really good job of reading, but the vlog has just dwindled. Like, it's basically just going to be a Luna Park vlog with a little bit of, like, me talking about reading. But... Hopefully I might be able to finish this tomorrow, but the thing is, is like, even though it's a readathon, I'm not trying to read more. I just want to because I'm very invested. Like some more interesting stuff has happened, but I still have no idea where it's going to go. It's stressing me out that I haven't even got an inkling. And I have an idea now that I feel like, ooh, what if it's this? But I really don't think it's going to be because if it is, that would be devastating. Like it would be a stress. To think that but I am very excited to keep going and now I really just kind of want to like maybe read more of the books from this series like I'm definitely going to make a priority to get to the rest of this series by next year like the start of the year I really want to continue on at least get to the second book and have more of a mystery but they're just like really easy books to read so hopefully I can finish it tomorrow and hopefully I can vlog more tomorrow even though I probably won't but like fingers crossed. Oh my god I've just gotten up to page 320 and shit is getting serious like nothing that's gonna let me know who did it even though there is starting to be some vibe and I'm thinking that there's a place where like the body probably is that got murdered and that's my guess here but something really bad just happened that was making me really sad and I'm like why why is this happening like this just feels very dangerous but I feel like I've got like 130 pages left of this book for some reason I thought that I was nearly finished but I've still got quite a lot so I probably won't finish it today and today is Wednesday so the readathon is still until Sunday and then I've got a couple of days before the Hemisphere Christmas Games one starts up and then I'm going to try and read another book or two there but I'm very happy with how easy it is to read this book and I'm very much hooked like I've been hooked from the beginning but like I really want to start getting some answers to because I need to know what is going on. I'm always yawning literally every time I come on to talk on the camera. I was going to vlog earlier today so it is Thursday but it's technically now Friday because it's 12.30 at night. But I was going to film earlier but my parents were listening to music and no matter where in the house I walked to there was the faint sound of music and I'm like I don't want to have the copyright going so I was like okay I'm going to uh, not film now but I've actually had such a hectic day like I don't even know if I've really done that much reading to be honest because this morning I had to go to a doctor's appointment to get an ultrasound done on my neck and my collarbone and also get an x-ray because I have some lumps that I'm a little bit concerned about and I do not know the results because I have to talk to my doctor then I had a four hour shift at work and then I went to the gym afterwards so I was like hella busy today it was a long time I even went and got lunch and then I didn't have enough time to eat my lunch before work so I had to bring it to work with me and I was really stressed I was like oh my god I have to walk to my workplace I do not have enough time but I am so close to being finished with this book I think I've only got 50 pages left to go and I was here like thinking I'd finish it two days ago but as I said I'm not like rushing to get through anything like I'm only reading at the normal amount that I'm reading but this month I've been doing such a good job and I'm only four books away from my Goodreads goal and I think I'm going to be able to do it because I said to you at the start of the month I don't want to stress myself out but I've really been pushing to read more and I just hope that this isn't just a phase and I might be able to keep reading like I am but I just got to keep picking books that I really want to read and just thankfully this one's been really interesting but as I said I'm still going to start Kingdom of the Wicked because I should finish this tomorrow I'm also going to start a new audiobook tomorrow that's not a part of the readathon at all but it's a short one so hopefully that's another book read like if I get over 52 I'm going to be so proud of myself because I'm getting shit done but the murderer has been revealed but also before when I was talking to you guys like another chapter in something really devastating happened and it was one of like the worst things ever like this is one of those things that you're like this isn't a thing that should happen I don't want to know about it and it did but the murderer has been revealed but there's still 50 pages to go so I feel like there's going to be like something else and I definitely feel like this case is like completely solved so I'm like what is the next couple books about because I don't know hopefully there's like more mysteries but then again it's like maybe she's gonna get contacted to like solve other mysteries because there's only one mystery in her small town I don't know what else there can be but I'm excited to keep going but now I really should sleep oh my gosh another full day without me actually doing any vlogging because this is where the vlog's gone it started out strong it has gone downhill the reading is still going good but just everything else is downhill but at the moment it is 11 past 12 and I have to be up for work at 40 past 5 and I have 
50 pages left of this book and I really want to finish it. But I went and saw Avatar Way of the Water today and then I was at the shops for a really long time and also that movie was amazing. I enjoyed it so much. I love the development of the characters and the story and how we got to see so much more of the world and I have so many questions so I definitely need the third movie to happen and not in like 10 more years. Like it needs to be next year absolutely. Hope it does. They have confirmed a date but still do not change that date on me. But then I was at shops. I went to time zone. I've come home. We've had guests over. We then had a dance party. That's why my face looks like this because I am exhausted and now I know that I should go to sleep but I'm also wired up because I just want to finish this book and the fact too is there's only two more days left of the readathon and I have not started my second book and now I'm like do I start it? Do I try and finish the other book that I'm reading at the moment? But I think I will. As long as I get this book done tonight, I will tell you what time it is when I finish, but like, I am going to be so freaking tired tomorrow and I'm going to hate the decision that I made now. Lol jokes, it was only 30 pages because this book is not 450, but it's 433 pages. So it is... 11.45, so I am a slow reader. I don't think I've ever been like a fast reader, so like that's reasonably good for me but I definitely have to go to bed now and I finished my first book of the readathon look at me go and hopefully there will be some content for the next few days but like I probably will not film okay another whole day is gone but it is still Saturday and I do have to go to bed now because I have to get up at five tomorrow so that's the vibe I read 30 pages and to be honest, I just don't really know what's going on. And it's obviously very easy to tell what's going on. And if I thought about it a bit more, I would understand. But I don't know if my brain is equipped to read fantasy anymore. And it's kind of hurting me because, like, contemporaries are so easy to read. They're so uncomplicated that when I pick up a fantasy, I just go into a slump. <laughs> And this is a story that I know is going to be really, really good. But what's really annoying is I will pick up a book that I know I'm going to love because that's the type of reader I am. But then again, it's like, am I really that type of reader anymore? Like, have I changed fundamentally that these are the type of books I don't enjoy anymore? Because a lot of the time I feel like I'm just not enjoying them as much as I should be. Like, I'm telling myself that I should love this because it's something that I should really enjoy. But then I read it and then I'm underwhelmed. And then I question it because I'm just like, no, I can rate this book higher because I know that this is something that I like. Yet, it's like my heart's telling me, no, you don't, but my brain's like, yes, you do. It's just the struggle. But the story hasn't really started in the 30 pages because I know, like, with this book is her sister dies and then she's trying to figure out what happened and one of the demon princes, the Wraith one, interacts with her. But I think there's another character. Like, I know that I think the love story is with Wraith, but I feel like there's another, like, the devil's also a character or something. Like, I'm not too sure. But, like, I loved Stalking Jack the Ripper, so I'm like, I gotta like this one too. But tomorrow's the last day of the readathon, and I might only read another 30 pages tomorrow, but I'll just have to see how I go. Hey guys, so today is the last day of the readathon, and it is Sunday, so I work today until three, and I could read today, but I haven't really. I read 20 pages on my lunch break. My sister has died, and I feel like the story is starting to evolve more, like I am getting intrigued, but we'll see. I may end up just like finishing this book during the Hemisphere Christmas games, because I have one book that I wanna read for that readathon that I definitely wanna read, and then I might like finish this, because it still adds page count. I'm not reading the whole book, but it still works. But most of today, I've been editing my Anticipated Reads video, so it should be up today. I've just done a clean edit, and then I have to add in my photos, and then I'm going to finish a Christmas movie, and then I have to get up early again tomorrow for work. And then I have four days between readathons, so it's like a vibe, really. But I may get a bit of reading done tonight. I'll just see how late it is, because I have to go to sleep, or I will wake up tomorrow and be extremely cranky. But I feel like I've been productive, but I've also been so procrastinating. I keep going on TikTok, which is just not where I should be. But I will continue on with this and hope for the best. Desperately trying not to yawn even though I want to, but it is like 20 past 10. I got my video uploaded. It's in the universe. My inches better reads. There's only 13 of them, so hopefully you guys enjoy this 40 minute video that's not really much of anything. And I didn't read anything and I also finished watching the Christmas movie because it's funny because Chad Michael Murray is in quite a few but every Christmas movie that he's in he's with the same female love interest which is ironic because it's like it's just the same movie because I watched one where he was an angel and then another one where he's a traveler dude and it's just funny that it's like they're the same people. They definitely have to have a contract with Hallmark or whatever because they also have another movie that's like a romance movie, but I don't think it's on Netflix. But anywho, I'm really happy with how this week went. Nine Days of a Readathon is actually really good, though I liked having the extra time, but I did finish a book in a week. 
I'm proud of myself. And at this point, I only have to read three more books to get to my Goodreads goal. And I think I can do it considering I'm already in the middle of two books. I like, I think I'm actually going to get there. And I know I've been talking about it throughout videos this month, being like, am I going to do it? I don't want to stress myself out. But I really feel like I was very motivated this month and I actually got so much done. It's just at the moment, like Kingdom of the Wicked has like kind of made me crash into a wall. Like I do really want to read it, but... I like might read a couple of pages now because as I said I really do need to go to bed but like I might just read a little bit more because it is still a readathon. Maybe for like 10 minutes I'll read because it will help. But I think I'm going to go back to the other book that I was halfway through finish that one and then I will get ready for the Hemisphere Christmas game. So I've got four days to finish the book that I'm halfway through. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. Sorry it's mostly just Luna Park content and then me talking once every night. Hopefully in future vlogs and like my Hemisphere Christmas game vlog, I will get some more content in there. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.